Okay, so in order to embed uh, something on Moodle, the first thing you need is the embed code. And um, different uh, websites will give you the embed code in different places. In Quizlet, what you want to do is you want to go to um, the set that you want to um, embed. So this is my vocab list 5. And then if you go over to Tools and More, one of the options for More is the embed. Okay. Um, so uh, what it gives you is it gives you these uh, six different ways that you can embed um, the Quizlet uh, but that's a little bit misleading because once it's embedded the students will be able to switch between all six of these so really what they're asking is where do you want it to start what do you want to show up first before they switch something so if you want them to see the flashcards first and then have to switch to the other ones you want to take this code right here Okay, so you're going to right click and you're going to copy the code and then you're going to go into the Moodle page. Now, if you want it on the front page like this, uh, so this is right on like my main Moodle page because I don't want the students to not see it. I want them to be reminded every time. Then I'm going to add an activity or resource and the resource that I'm going to add is a label. Labels are the most flexible uh, ways to put things directly on the front of a page. Okay, so I'm going to hit add. Now the first place it shows me, um, I don't want to put this. Um, I don't want to, to to put anything there. I'm going to go to edit. Uh, so I'm going to go to show editing tools, and then I'm going to edit the HTML. Okay. So once I'm in this HTML source editor, that's where I'm going to place or paste my uh, my embed code here. Okay. And then I'm going to hit update. You'll see that it even shows up. Yours probably looks smaller, but um, you'll see it shows up right here on this page and then if I go to save and return to course you will see it at the bottom of my Moodle page okay so there's the one I just uh, uploaded it uh, like I said the kids can choose to switch between these study modes so they can go to the different parts of it uh, all in the same embed code uh, so it also will let them star terms and unstar terms. So it really can do almost anything that um, they could do on the Quizlet page. Okay, so um, this is the way that you kind of work that embed code. There's another way that you can embed it if you don't want it to show up on the front page, and that's um, anywhere else they give the HTML code. So let's say that instead of embedding, um, I wanted to do a page. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the page a title. Okay, so this would be like flashcards for vocab quiz. Okay, um, and because I'm using a page, all the students will see on the front page is this title. But then under page content, I again have this HTML uh, editor. So I can put this, oops, I uh, took my embed code. So I'm going to copy my embed code and I'm going to put it right here okay and then I'm going to update and I'm going to save and display okay so now what they'll see is this is what they'll see when they click into it uh, this is what they see before they click into it so they'll see it as a link uh, on the HTML page okay flashcards for vocab quiz and they'll have to click on it and once they click on it they'll be taken into the embed code. So um, if you don't want to kind of uh, crowd your first page, this is where you would put it as a page. Okay, and uh, it just won't take up so much space on the front page. Okay, so that's how you do it.